guys in my last video i talked about how you can add remove and update items on the list view in this video i want to add more items into my list view i want to show employee name i want to show designation i want to show their profile picture uh, on the list view so for that i have created this class in which i have the employee id employee name designation and picture url so instead of adding string uh, in our observable collection let's add our class employee so when i do that it's gonna throw some uh, errors here and i'm gonna get rid of uh, this error and i'm gonna comment this because this is not gonna work and i'm gonna comment this because you cannot remove and add items by string you'll have to pass the employee object now if you want to add and remove employee and to show these people with more properties what i've done here is i'm going to add this piece of code so what i'm doing here is i'm going to i'm adding a new employee in which uh, i'm passing the employee id their name their designation and their profile picture uh, for profile picture i have downloaded this profile pictures from internet to show for this demo but you can totally have this profile picture in the project and use uh, the image source extension that we talked about in our image uh, images demo or you can uh, show the images from uh, the web too if you want to but for this demo i'm just gonna show these images from the local folder here sweet uh so let's go back to our ui and what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna run this and see uh so how, see how it looks like there you go so now you can see that instead of showing the employee name it's showing user interface app employee the reason why it's showing that is because now the list view doesn't know what to bind to it doesn't it knows that okay you have you you bound myself to employee class but which property of the employee class do you want to bind to so uh, let's bind this list view to employee properties uh, one cool thing that I wanted to show here is what I'm going to do here is we don't need these controls anymore. We don't, uh, for adding employee, I'm going to add a button here and for removing editing employee, I'm going to put buttons here. So we don't need these controls anymore. So I'm going to comment this controls and save this page. And when I save this page, when I come back here on the emulator, you can see that the emulator refreshed the page and got rid of those controls and this uh, this feature is called as hot reload feature and they have just released it um and if you want to enable that feature you can go in options and you can type hot reload and you can enable that from here it's still in preview mode it's a little wonky it doesn't work all the time but uh it's been pretty smooth for me so i highly recommend you should enable that um Sweet, so let's get back to our list view and uh, showing our uh, list, uh, our employee name in the, in the list view instead of just showing the class name here. We are not gonna need uh, this uh, list view name anymore. We're not gonna need this list selected. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, to, show, to show employee names on the page, what we're gonna need is we're going to need to add the item template and then we're going to need to add data template and in this data template you can either have built-in cells or you can have your custom cell so xamarin provides two built-in cells which is text cell and image cell and in text cell you can have uh, the header and the detail and for image cell you can put image and uh, header and the detail of the text uh, these two cells are not going to work for us because we need to put, you know, edit and remove our buttons towards the end, end of our list item. So we're going to need to explore custom cells. So in custom cells, you can define your own UI, how you want to show your cell. 
and to do that we'll have to add view cells so i'm gonna add view cell here and i'm just gonna add a label here which says that employee name we added a control in our view cell so when i save it come back to employee you can see that now it's showing employee name and it's showing the correct count but it's not showing the real employee name we'll have to bind the text property of the um, uh, of the label here uh, i'm gonna bind the uh, text property of the label with the employee name employee name of the employee so when i save it now you can see the employee names of uh, of the employees now i want to show designation of this employee so when i I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna instead of showing employee name, I'm gonna copy and paste it here. Sweet. So, but you can see that now the designation, the employee names got replaced with designation. It kind of over overwrote on top of it. So we'll have to define our layout in our view cell so that it doesn't the controls don't overlap each other. And here you can define your own layout. You can use stack layout, you can use relative layout if that's what you like. But personally, I like grid views. So I'm gonna use grid here. I'm gonna say, uh, I wanna add a grid and I wanna add these two controls in grid. And I wanna show this guy on the first column. And I wanna say that the text uh, vertical text align should be at the start and the designation I want to now show on the same column but I want to show at the end Sweet. so when I save it you can see that now you can see the employee name and the designation of the employee but I want to make my employee name look a little nicer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the font size to medium and the font attribute to bold. Sweet. So when I come back, you can see that now the employee name is bolder and the designation is not. And it looks much nicer now. Now that we have added employee name and the designation, I want to add image into my list view. So what I'm going to do is now that we have employee name i want to show the profile picture of this person and i'm going to bind the source of this to the picture url property of the employee so when i get it and i'm going to put it here and save it you can see that now it's showing the profile picture of the employees but the profile picture of the employees is showing on the right hand side i want to show it on the left hand side uh, so we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say sorry grid we want to show this image on the first column and these two controls on the second column so when I save it now you can see that the image is on the left hand side and the employee name and the designation on the right hand side nice but you can still see that it's divided in half and the image is taking half of the cell and half of the cell is left for employee name. So to fix that, we'll have to define some column definitions here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say grid column definitions and define some column width here. The first column width should be default but the second column should be seven times longer than the first column boom there you go now it looks much nicer now you can see that and the profile picture is looking on the leftmost side and uh, the employee name and the designations look really nice um so now i want to add uh the edit and remove button on uh, on the rightmost side of it instead of adding button what i've done is i've added i have downloaded this uh, edit and trash icons from from web so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add those towards the end so i'm gonna say image source should be edit and uh, png extension and uh, 
I'm gonna say grid column, this should be second column, and um, this should be trash PNG, and it should be the fourth column. I'm gonna save it. Boom, there you go. Now you can have, now you have uh, icons for editing and deleting your uh, employees. And to add an employee, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a toolbar item. In toolbar item, I'm gonna say that toolbar item text is add. Sweet. So you can see that add button pops up here. Now we have add, edit, and delete icons on our page. Now to actually perform, actually we want to add and delete and update items from a list, we can totally use this commands, right? No, it's not going to work like that. The reason why it's not going to work like that, the list view items are not bound to our view model anymore. It's bound to the employee object. So these commands are not there in the employee object. We'll have to define these commands uh, somewhere else um and make it work right and i'm gonna make another video to explain that so hang in there the reason why i, I want to make another video because i, I want to explain that in detail and if you have any questions about custom cells and or if you want to steal my code this code is there on github i'm going to mention the link in the video description and it, you can put any kind of questions in um in the in the comment section uh, I hope this works for you. Thanks for watching the video. This is Fahad. Bye.